guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I will be showing you my foundation routine and what steps I take to get a flawless foundation. And because I do have oily skin, so it does um, last the whole day. So if you want to know how I achieve a flawless foundation, then just keep on watching. As you can see, I already have my eyebrows on. And we're just going to jump into my foundation routine. I did film this, but I lost... The footage and I can't I just can't find it anywhere I haven't primed my face I haven't done anything to it it's just um, washed I washed it before I started filming and did my eyebrows and everything's gonna be linked down below if you have any questions you know you can always comment and but yeah I tried my best to link everything so you guys have everything you know with the click right there in the description box so we're gonna go ahead and get started this is the Maybelline New York Master Prime and this is the green one and it is for blue uh, blurred and redness control, which um, you can barely see it, but I do have redness here on my cheeks and um, a little bit on my forehead. And this is my favorite um, primer from the drugstore. I actually don't have um, like a high-end primer. Uh, I used to use the coconut primer from Too Faced, I think. Um, but I ran out and... I tried that one and fell in love with it. Started. We're going to be using the Milani Conceal Plus uh, Perfect, the 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer. And I have mine in Creamy Vanilla. And I have been loving this foundation. As you can see, I don't take a lot of product. And this, I just dot it like that. And you're going to see that little bit, it's going to cover this side of my face. I just, and I'm using a damp beauty blender. The coverage is amazing. You can definitely build it up because with that layer, I mean, you can still see, like, my imperfections and, like, our acne scarring right here. But I prefer to start with a little bit of foundation and then build it up. Um, you just, you don't want to, like, slap on a lot of foundation. And then you, that's one of the reasons that you have, like, cake face because sometimes you put a lot of foundation. And then if you do set your foundation with, like, a powder foundation, like the MAC... Um, Studio Fix powder, which is like a powder foundation, then that's extra coverage, and that is what gives you like cake cake face, and we don't want that. So with that tiny bit, you can definitely see like the difference between you know not having anything with foundation, and I just take tiny tiny bits. And then once I finish the first layer, that's when I go on and see if I need a little bit more coverage. Being very careful when going around the brows because it takes time to get these brows. So I'm just going to take a little bit and like I said, I start building it up when I see that I, where I see that I need more foundation. Okay, and I'm going to take a little bit of the foundation and don't forget to bring it down on your neck. I just take a little bit and then I use a Morphe M439 to blend it. I personally don't like using a brush because um, I feel like it leaves like a streak on my face. I just, I prefer the beauty blender. But I do use it to bring it down my neck. We are going to be moving on to concealer, and I mentioned this one in my April's Favorites, which I'm going to link down below if you haven't watched that. Uh, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and mine is in the color Light Sand. I highlight under my eyes. That was too close to my lash line. I put a little bit on my nose. And I put a little bit on my forehead, my chin. And because we're going to contour and I want that to stand out, I'm going to put a little bit uh, on my jaw. And then I just blend it with my beauty blender. So I, with the Beauty Blender, I use the pointy side to blend my underneath the eye. 
And then I use the back or the butt of the beauty blender to just blend on my cheek. And you can definitely see the, <laughs> the difference of like how bright my under eye looks. And obviously it's your preference as to how much highlight you want on your face. But obviously I do contour and I do like bronze up my face. So everything blends together once you finish your whole entire face. Okay, so my camera started recording and I look kind of crazy. So I am baking right now and for that I'm using the original RCMA No Color Powder. And I buy this from the Camera Ready Cosmetics website. So I use this one to bake my underneath, uh, to bake my underneath my eyes. And I just leave that there. And I use the same powder to set my foundation. And then to set my entire face, I use the same powder. And throughout the day, if I see that I'm having a little bit of an oily, you know, skin, I, I do have my MAC powder with me, and that's what I use throughout the day. So I'm just going to use the same powder to set. And this powder makes a mess, because <laughs> it's a loose translucent powder. And I just take that, and I'm using a Real Techniques, uh, I think it's called the blush, um, blush, Bl blush brush <laughs> blush brush to set that and then I go in and I just remove the powder from underneath my eyes now that our face is set we're gonna move on to bronzing and contouring and for that I either use the hula from benefit which is this is like the travel size and um, I use also the Too Faced Chocolate Powder, which this was like a sample, and I haven't run out. It's already, I already hit pan on it, but I love it. So I use those two to contour and to bronze my face. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and bronze my face a little bit because I look a little bit pale. So for today, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Sun Bunny uh, Natural Bronzer, and this is a sample size. And it has two bronzy sides, and I'm going to use a Morphe M527, which is a big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to bronze my face a little bit with this. Okay, and now for contouring, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Powder um, and the Morphe Y9 brush. And I'm going to take a little bit and I'm just going to contour. So to contour, you go underneath your cheekbones to give that shadow. And what I like to do is to just move my mouth like that. And as you can see, you can see that natural shadow right here. So that is where you're going to be contouring. Like I said, with the foundation, you like to go with a little bit of product because it is really hard to, you know, take it back. And with bronzer, it takes a long time to try to blend it. Believe me, been there. So, if you need more product, you just take more. And a little bit on your temples. I'd like to take it too on my jawline. Right. I'm going to be using the ColourPop Sand um, bl uh, Blush and Highlight Collection. And it looks like this. It is so pretty. It's kind of like a peachy color. And I'm going to use only the blush on this palette. So I'm going to take the Luxie 516 um, Dual Fiber Powder Brush. And I'm going to take a little bit of that blush. And then where I like to place the blush is kind of like on top of my contouring and my bronzing right here. And then at the end, I just put a little bit on my apples. So I start on the back and then bring it to my apples. And we're going to be moving on to my favorite part, and that is highlight. And I'm going to be using the Morphe 510 for today's uh, brush. And also, if you saw my April's favorites, I'm going to be using the Nicole Guerrero Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Glow Kit, which it is so pretty. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my God. So pretty. Okay. So, for today, let's see. What are we going to do today? 
Um, we are gonna take a little bit of we're gonna take a little bit of Forever Young right here. So after Forever Young, we are going to take a little bit of Forever Lit, which is this one right here. It's the white one. And I'm going to place that just on the middle there. Just for that pop. <sighs> yes. Yes. So pretty. And obviously, if you don't like a you know, blinding highlight like I do, you can obviously go to a, for a more like subtle highlight. But, okay, so for my nose, which is the last thing that I do in my foundation routine, I'm gonna be taking this Lexi 207 brush, which is like, kind of like an angle brush. And I'm gonna take this chocolate powder with the same that I use for contouring. And what I do is from my eyebrow, that's where I make the line and bring it down on my nose. Okay, now to brighten a little bit no more under my eyes, I'm going to be taking the Ulta Press Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Banana, and I'm going to take that Morphe E48, and just grab a little bit of powder, and bring it to the sides of my nose. And then a tiny bit down the bridge of my nose, and we're going to be highlighting right now. And a little bit on my underneath my eyes. And after that, I'm gonna be taking my highlight and I'm gonna be highlighting my nose. So I'm gonna take that same Forever Young right here and then place it on the tip of my nose and then bring a little bit on the bridge. And then with my finger, I'm going to grab a little bit of that Forever Lit, which is the white one right here. And then, tiny bit on my nose. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the little button down there. And if you have any requests, please leave them down in the comment section. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.